Hi, my name is Dee, and this is a three-minute review of Hello, Stranger by Catherine Center. The release date for Hello, Stranger is July 11th, 2023. This book might be for you if you enjoy cinnamon roll heroes, secret identities, quirky and hilarious heroines, fish out of water storylines, and good contemporary romance with a dollop of wisdom. Sadie is an artist trying to make it in the business when she has a seizure that reveals the need for brain surgery. Unfortunately, the swelling post brain surgery has left her with a condition known as face blindness. This is a real problem for a portrait artist who can't see faces. A portrait artist who's just become a finalist in a very important art competition that requires her to paint a face. To top it all off, she's falling for two different men but can't see their faces at all. Can she win the competition? Will she wind up with one of her men? The answers, like this story, are ridiculously fun. This book is full of heart. We see Sadie navigate a world that's not serving her particularly well, learning valuable lessons along the way. She's been dealt a bad hand that just keeps getting worse, but it's the people in Sadie's life who make it better. Her best friend Sue, her men, her dog Peanut, and her new psychologist help Sadie see humanity and even the toughest to like people. There is a super villain here and Sadie's stepsister. There are challenging family dynamics as well. And Sadie is really struggling with her dreams of becoming an artist because it's not paying the bills and she can't even see the subjects of her paintings. This might sound sad or dark, but it isn't. I laughed until I cried multiple times. I swooned too. The plot had a hint of spice and it felt absolutely right. The cinnamon roll heroes that Sadie finds herself with were perfection. I actually wound up highlighting in my Kindle a lot of the wisdom that was passed to Sadie from her psychologist because it was so life-affirming. Great advice for just about anyone. It actually made me see life in a different way, which I loved, and I had a great deal of fun while reading this. Even the author's note about the value of romance novels was really compelling. Not to be missed if you read this book. I liked this book so much that I actually gave it six stars. I have never read Catherine Center before this, and now I can't wait to read more. Trigger warnings are listed in my description box. I'd like to thank St. Martin's Press and NetGalley for the e-arc of this book. All opinions expressed are my own. That's it for me. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying whatever it is you're reading. If you have time, I hope it's this. Until next time, thanks so much. Take care. Bye.